Welcome to the Maddie Rocks Experience and On the Road with Maddie Rocks on location, obviously, at the Gander Mountain in Snellville, Georgia. Joined with special guest, talented, the beautiful Crystal Hopkins. Thanks again for joining me. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. I want another round of applause for uh, Miss Crystal Hopkins, please. That beautiful performance. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> Some more uh, Maddie Rocks history made at uh, another Gander Mountain Grand Opening. This is my second Gander Mountain Grand Opening interview that I've done. Wow. And my first interview in the great state of Georgia. Oh, well, welcome. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure. You. Uh, you just played the kickoff for Gander Mountain's Grand Opening. Yeah. How did it feel? Oh, it was great. We had a good time. Um, I mixed in uh, a few songs, uh, original songs and some covers. Um, we did few Loretta Lynn hits and uh, then some of my original so it was a good time very nice mm -hmm. uh, Crystal when you hear or see the word Gander Mountain maybe you're driving down the road you see Gander's name on a billboard or you hear it on a radio ad what comes to mind for you home comes to mind to me um, growing up in the country in South Georgia uh, being out way out in the middle of the woods camo guns hunting and fishing that all that reminds me of home that uh that's what i you know that's my roots that's what i grew up on so when i think of gander mountain you know home comes to mind it gives me a sense of home very nice it's all a great combination everything you just mentioned crystal if you would take many rocks listeners back to the early years of your life in uh, jessup georgia and give us some insight to how music and singing came into your life yeah, well, um, growing up, my uh, dad would play his old upright player's piano by ear and um, run around in diapers, um, just a little old thing. I would sing right there with him, um, uh, sing some, like I said earlier, Loretta Lynn, Tammy Wynette, Dolly Parton uh, hits and the red back hymnals too um so growing up that's kind of how I, I got my start and then later on I was just like you know what this is this is something that I really want to do this is something that I, I truly enjoy and uh so I was like you know what I'm going to give it a go I'm going to see what happens and so now I'm I'm on that journey chasing my dreams right on um who are the musical influences early on and still even today who have helped shape to make you the great performer and singer that you are today um, as I just mentioned, I, I love, um, I, I have an old soul, I, I believe, um, and I do love the, the great uh, country artists uh, like Loretta Lynn and Tammy, like I mentioned, but I also love uh, Aretha Franklin and Gladys Knight. I, I kind of like the blues also, so growing up, um, I sang a lot of country songs, but then also blues, soulful top music, and I feel like that's kind of like, you know, mixed together to to create my style. And uh, so, I would I would say it's like a mix of country and blues. And uh, Loretta is a huge influence, and uh, Aretha Franklin. Very also. nice, great influences you mentioned. Taking it back to the younger years, um, how did those moments? making music with your father, and even singing in the church help prepare you for where you are today as a musician and a singer? Oh, it um, definitely helped prepare me um, a, a great deal. Uh, it just basically helped me to get used to being in front of a crowd and, you know, picking up on little things, uh, you know, with, with the microphone and just speaking to the audience and... Uh, just everything just in, in general to perform in. Uh, singing in church and singing with my dad really helped me so that, you know, starting out when I was singing out in public, I was like, oh my goodness, like, you know, it's good to practice at home with dad or to get up there in front of, you know, m my church. Because then when you really get out here in the real world, out with a live audience, like, you know, there's all kinds of things that go through your mind. And um, just being able to do that helped me to get it together and you know, be able to perform the best that, that I, you know, I can, so. And, gotta, and it's got to be nice making music with your father at such an early age. Oh, yeah. It's awesome. 
Um, starting out at the early age, how did you know it was country music that was going to be the genre you steered towards? Well, honestly, I really wasn't too sure to begin with. Um, when I moved to Atlanta a couple years ago, um, you know, like I said, I love blues, uh, soulful type music as well. And so when I moved here, um, you know, I feel like uh, people were picking up more so of the blues, soulful, pop type sound. So I felt like they were kind of trying to mold me and, you know, suggest maybe go on this route. And it wasn't until um, a couple of years ago, I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to stay true to my roots, keep it country. Um, you know, that's, that's what I grew up on and that's who I am. So good for you. Mm -hmm. Stay with that. Growing up in a small rural town like Jessup, when do you make the jump to move out of there to pursue your career in music? When's the right time to do it? When was the right time to do it? Well, uh, when, after I graduated high school, I um, attended um, a school in Fort Myers, Florida. It's uh, called Master's Commission. It's a discipleship program, and I took classes through North Central University. So right after Jessup, I moved to Florida, and I went there to the discipleship program and, you know, got my thoughts together and tried to figure out like, you know, what is it that I really want to do? And then um, right after that, I was like, you know what? Okay, country music, music just in general is, is what I want to do. So that's when I moved to Atlanta. And so I think uh, for me, it was graduating high school and being able to say, all right, well now, you know, what's the next chapter? And I think that that was the perfect time for me, for me to do that too. Good deal. Knowing you want to become a country singer, okay. you obviously set up a plan in place. How did you execute that plan? Basically just, uh, you know, I, I would make a list of, of goals and things that I would want to achieve. And every day I would wake up and I would say, okay, I have one life to live. Let me give this a go and see what happens. And I would just go back to my little list of goals and dreams and you know um, slowly but surely I found myself checking them off saying okay well I accomplished that I accomplished that okay well let's let's keep this going let me add some some more to this um, and so it's basically just staying persistent and not giving up and that's kind of how I've been able so far to accomplish what I have thus far <laughs> good for you thank you how important is your faith in the creation of your beautiful music oh it's super important um, God blessed me with a talent, so, you know, my gift back to him is to use it. Absolutely. Where do the eyes, ideas, and inspirations come from that make up all your beautiful music? Oh, just, you know, real life. Um, in general, uh, just living every day, um, you know, we all go through struggles, breakups, and all kinds of things. So, honestly, just living life that's kind of like what inspires me to um to to write about that's what i write about right on it's my life there you go <laughs> my experiences and you're telling it to us well, yeah. um i want to touch on the uh single little town a song that's uh near and dear to you dedicated to your hometown of jessup georgia mm -hmm. um how special is that song to you oh it's so special um you know jessup uh, i really feel like they've helped mold me um, and to the person that I am today, um, you know, it's it just coming from a small town. There's just nothing like it. You know, there's no place like home, and home is where the heart is. Um, and and the cool thing about that song was after I, after I wrote it, um, my hometown was like, well, you know, we want to get together and um, you know do a video, and we want you to do a show and all this. And so it was just so cool to go back to my hometown after writing the song. Um, and being on this journey of chasing my dreams out in Atlanta, it was just so cool to go back home and just to, to realize, you know what? This is where I come from, and these are the people I love, and they have definitely played a huge role in, you know, helping me to chase my dreams and make me the person that I am. And so that was very special for me. When you return to Jessup, what is the one thing that comes to mind for you since leaving there every time you go back? What reminds you? I mean, what? Yeah, well, honestly, just being outdoors, the hunting and the fishing and the just 
the Friday night football games and, I mean, just family get-togethers. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. like, being in the city, it's so fast-paced and um, nonstop. And right whenever I hit a certain place um, on 341 heading down south and it's like nothing but woods, that's when it's, everything starts to come back. I'm like, you know what? This is where I'm from. And... You know, it's so peaceful and just down to earth and the simple life. And I really appreciate that, you know, so it's always good to go home. Very nice. Um, you have a handful of singles. Out of all your singles, which one to you do you hold close to your heart, this special project, the one that best represents you as a country artist? Well, that's a difficult question <laughs> because of the fact um, I, I love all the songs and they mean so much to me, but I would have to say, um, you know, Little Town is, is just, you know, super special because I wrote it about my hometown. And um, then this this next one um, that I'll be coming out with uh, pretty soon in the next month or so, it'll be up online, but um, it's called I'll Stop Loving You. And um, that one's pretty close and dear to my heart too. We look forward to that one. So how did the opportunity come to be for you to uh, play in Florida Georgia Lines video around here? Oh, well, um, my agency reached out to me and said that, um, that I had an audition and that uh, they, they asked for me to, to come and, you know, try out and this and that. Well, actually, I was unable to make the try out, so I was like, oh. But then they actually called back again. I was like, well, you know, can you send like a little video or a picture or whatever? I was like, okay, cool. Um, so we did that, and then um, they they booked me right then and there, and it was so cool. Um, the the guys are so down to earth, and uh, they were actually filming their video around here in Monroe, Georgia, I believe, and that's um, that's uh, Tyler's hometown. So that was really cool, and um, you know, I was playing his love interest, so we had to like. You know, like we've known each other for a while and, you Get know. the scene. Yeah. <laughs> there actually, yeah, there was a kiss scene, too. Uh oh Yeah. And so it was a, a sweet PG, you know, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it was just kind of like, oh, I got to act like this dude is my dude and um, kind of have to give a little sweet, innocent kiss in front of all the film crew. So it was a little, like, you know, intimidating, but it was fun at the same time because, like I said, Brian and Tyler, they're just so down to earth and so cool and chill, so it was it was a fun time. Looked like a pretty neat experience. Um, you've recently had the opportunity to sing the national anthem at a couple of sporting events. What does it mean to you to play such a powerful, inspirational song in front of thousands of people like that? Oh, I mean, it means the world to me, and um, I mean, that's that's... That's an amazing song. That's like top notch, like independent song, you know. And just being able to have the opportunity to sing at uh, the Turner Field for the Braves game, and then at Phillips Arena for the Hawks uh, game. It was just an awesome experience. I really enjoyed it. I truly did. Very nice, Crystal. I want you to talk about the band that backs you, and including the gentleman that played with you today. What do they bring to the stage for you? Um, well, besides talent, they, they bring support and laughter. Um, we're always having a good time, and we're just, we're all like family. You know, they're like my brothers. They like to pick on me a lot, but it's okay. I go with it. Um, but no, they are, they're amazing guys and uh, super talented, and, uh, you know, they're just like, like family to me. Very nice. Crystal, thinking back throughout your musical career so far, what would you say is your biggest accomplishment to date? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, hmm. You know, it would honestly have to be after writing my first song, uh, Little Town, and being able to do a music video with my hometown. Um, I feel like that's like my greatest accomplishment, honestly, just because it's it brings me back home and it's that's me being around, around people that I love and um, that support me and it was just a, a great time. So for me, that that was a huge accomplishment, you know. Right on. What is one thing that you want the world to know about Crystal Hopkins and her music? 
Oh. Hmm. Well, that I like to keep it real, as real as I can. I like to keep it country, but I like to keep it current as well. And, um, you know, hopefully with all that, you know, everyone enjoys my music as much as I enjoy writing it and making it. Very nice. What advice do you have for aspiring females out there in the industry who want to make this as their career? What advice do you give them? Well, I would say, uh, you know, make that little uh, goal list that I was talking about earlier um, and every day wake up, go to it and try to accomplish, you know, your goals and, and refer back to, to that list and every day, you know, check off if you've accomplished it or not. And then also to just not give up because um, it's, it's, it's a tough industry for sure, but if you love it, then you'll keep on at it, you know, Absolutely. and you, and you won't give up and you won't stop. So that's definitely what I would say to them. What does the future hold for Crystal Hopkins? Oh goodness. Well, I know he holds my future. God will. And, um, I'll be making more music and, um, you know, hopefully uh, accomplishing my dreams and living out my dreams, making my dreams a reality. Right on. Where can fans keep up with everything going on with you, including all the beautiful music that you create? Yeah, they can keep up with me at crystalhopkins.com. Um, and then Facebook is just Crystal Hopkins, along with Twitter and Instagram and Reverb Nation and all that social media jazz. So, yeah, they can keep up with me. Um, though uh, you can definitely go straight to my website at crystalhopkins.com. And I'm on iTunes also. And... In the next month, I'll be um, putting out my, my new EP. So I'm excited about that. So y'all stay tuned. I'll keep y'all posted. What can we expect from that new EP? Um, Give us some insight. Yeah. So this, this new song is, uh, or this new CD EP, is um, basically just me talking about where I'm at right now in my life. And, um, you know, it's, it's very personal. I'm talking about some relationships um, you know, and so I think, I think y'all may like them. It's super country, but then it, it's current also. So it's kind of country popish. Um, but then we have one song on there that's straight up country that I think y'all might like. It's called stay. And that's, that's one of my, um, my favorites so far. All right. Well, we're looking forward to that release. Uh, Crystal, I'm going to give you the opportunity to send a message to Maddie Rocks listeners, uh, across the United States and around the world. We're going to potentially hear and see this interview. What would you like to say to them? Well, I would just like to say, y'all keep it real and keep it country. Keep it real country. Thank y'all for having me. And, um, you know, Maddie, you do rock. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Crystal, thank you for taking the time out of your uh, busy appearance here to uh, sit with me. This was truly an honor. Continued success to you and everything you have going on in your musical arena. You've heard it here, Maddie Rocks listeners, on the road with Maddie Rocks and Crystal Hopkins. Thanks again, Crystal. Thank you. Maddie Rocks, out. <laughs>